Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel and finally answering a question I get all the time. What are the stocks to buy that could double fast? And I kinda hate the question, but totally understand where it's coming from. Nation, 131 stocks have doubled over the last year with even those mega cap companies like Apple, Tesla, and even Nvidia finding new highs. And our little Bowtie Nation has benefited from it just as much as anyone with recommendations like Zscaler up 151%, Teladoc up 168%, and shares of Fastly jumping by 197%. The problem is investors think this is normal. Our nation, the average annual return on the stock market over the last 30 years is 11%, and that's not bad. An 11% annual return turns a single $1,000 investment into 23 grand over three decades of investing, and just $200 a month grows to over half a million dollars. It can make you rich, but it takes seven years to double your money at that rate. Now, are there ways to find stocks to buy that can double or even triple your money? Absolutely, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video, but I don't want you to get those dollar signs in your eyes and expect to double your money every single year. In this video, I'll show you the three investing rules to finding stocks that could double, a three-step process to finding those moonshot returns. I'll then reveal five stocks with the potential for triple-digit returns over the next year and beyond. Nation, this is exactly the kind of thing I did as a venture capital analyst, and using this process, you can consistently produce annual returns of 27% or more on your portfolio. It's this kind of thing that I love talking about here on the channel. So if you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. I am excited to get into that list of stocks to buy. So let's get started and I'll show you that three-step process to finding these in a minute. First up is $225 million Veritone Inc, ticker V-E-R-I, a cloud-based AI platform that structures audio and video data. And now Nation, if that sounds like a bunch of tech jargon, just understand that Veritone is in that convergence of, of what's going to be the three biggest biggest trends over the next decade, data analysis of audio and video content, cloud-based connectivity, and an AI platform that learns to become more effective. And the potential markets for these speak for themselves. The company's AIware platform is facing markets with double-digit annual growth and tens of billions in opportunities. Revenue has jumped 244% in the last two years and was even able to increase in that tough second quarter. Analysts have price targets ranging from $15 a share to as high as $18 each over the next year for a potential 120% return, and I think this one goes well beyond that long term. I'll be putting these stocks first in my paper portfolio on the Weeble app and then into my real portfolio on the platform. I love this stock simulator here. Uh, Weeble gives you a million dollars to test out your strategies and your stock ideas right in the stock simulator. I can add the stocks to my portfolio, get all the charting and the news that I need to follow the investment and then track it until I know that I want to commit and invest real money. It's a great feature on the app and will help make sure that you're only investing in the best stocks. I'll leave a link to the Weeble app in the video description below. Click through and not only will you get that stock simulator, but Weeble is also going to give you a free share of stock worth up to $1,400 when you sign up and make your first deposit. Zynex, ticker ZYXI, is a stock I recommended last October as one of my favorite picks under $10, and it immediately jumped to over $24 a share. It's come back down a little to $16 a share, but there is still a lot of potential here. Now, this company has been around for 23 years, but just graduated to listing on the NASDAQ this year, which is a big boost to that credibility and investor sentiment. Zynex earns most of its revenue from a non-invasive electrotherapy pain management device. That's about 90% of the sales, with 60% of it recurring on a monthly supplies basis. I love that recurring chunk of revenue, and the company is developing a blood volume monitor and growing into the EEG diagnostic space as well. Zynex has booked 12 consecutive profitable quarters, and orders were up 65% in the first half of 2019. It also paid out a special dividend in the fourth quarter of last year, which is extremely rare for these kinds of small cap stocks to pay out a dividend at all, but the company has $10 million in balance sheet cash and no long-term debt, so an excellent financial position. Now, analysts have price targets from $22.50 per share to as high as $30 each over the next year for a potential 82% return from here. Now what I wanna do, I wanna share with you that three-step process for finding these kinds of high return stocks because you know, as well as I think these five stocks can do, you have to be able to pick your own stocks to buy. I want you to be a better investor. I want you to be able to make your own decisions. And first here is you have to think like a venture capitalist, like an early stage investor. This was my job as an analyst, to find those best startups with the most potential. 
Like I said, Nation, this year has been absolutely crazy. You've had trillion dollar companies doubling in value with the shares of Apple, Amazon, really all those heavyweight tech names just surging. But that rarely happens. And in fact, the numbers are stacked up against them from here. For shares of Apple to double again, the company would need to book more than half a trillion dollars in revenue annually, and the market cap would be nearly a sixth the entire US economy. But that kind of return is absolutely possible in these small startup companies that we're looking at. This chart is from a survey of angel investors, over 3,000 investments in startup companies. So exactly what we're talking about here, and this is showing you the percentage return in these types of investments. Look at the three boxes on the right, 16% of the investments, so around 2 in 10, return 5 to more than 30 times your money. And the second bar here, more than 3 in 10 return up to 500%, 5 times your money. So applying this to investing in stocks, you're not looking for those most popular stocks or the mega cap companies. You're looking at the smallest companies, those neglected startups with great futures. To do this, I'll usually start with a screener for stocks under a billion dollar market cap. That's the value of all the shares outstanding. Now, I'm also looking for companies that are relatively new to the market. I don't want a company that's been around for decades and has never done anything. Second here, it's all about growth and how big the company can become. I'm looking for companies with a giant addressable market and proven sales growth over the last few years. Generally, this is going to mean sales growth of at least 20% or more over the last couple of years. So that's easy enough to screen for when you're looking for these stocks to buy. For the addressable market, that's the size of the potential customer base and management's estimate for what kind of a market share they can take in the future. And this information is usually found in the company's financial reports or in presentations on its investor relations page. For example, researching Fastly, I found it was estimating a $35 billion market for its two segments and a compelling case for taking market share that's turned into a nearly 200% return on the shares. Now, I've got to warn all you value investors out there, even these types of undiscovered stocks are going to have ridiculously high valuation multiples. For example, recommending Fastly last year, her earnings weren't even positive yet, and the shares were still trading at 10 times sales. Now, that doesn't mean value investors can't get in on the action here. I just understand you're going to have to adjust what you think of as value on that PE and that sales multiples. Third here is going to take some research because you've got to find those companies with a competitive advantage. Understand, these companies aren't competing in an empty market. These startups are coming into industries with established players, and they need a compelling reason why customers should switch to them. For example, with Zscaler, I saw a unique cloud-based security product that could take market share from some of those legacy providers that were still dependent on that hardware and data center product. So it's not as simple as just picking the fastest growing or the most popular stocks to buy. But with just a little bit of research here, you can find these stocks that are going to make you rich. Our next stock, $500 million MITIC Systems, ticker MITK, is a leader in mobile capture and identity verification with over 7,500 customers, mostly in that financial services sector. There is a huge market for identity verification, especially on that shift to mobile, with the company estimating a $12.7 billion market by 2024, touching nearly every sector. The company has grown revenue at a 32% annualized pace since 2012, and I think it's just scratching the surface here. Midic is booking $85 million in revenue on a market potential in the tens of billions. Once this software reaches that critical mass of customers though, I think this thing could move into more sectors beyond just financials and just blow up. Surprisingly, analysts only have targets around the current share price, from $10 per share to as high as $12.50 each, but I think this one could be a breakout story over the next few years. Our next pick here is a healthcare stock, $340 million Koru Medical Systems, ticker KRMD. Koru produces a unique syringe infusion system that patients can use at home to give themselves injections under the skin without having to inject directly into the vein. The US market alone here is nearly half a billion dollars in annual sales, and globally it could be two or three times that number. The company grew sales by 44% in the second quarter and has booked a 37% annual sales growth over the last two years. Beyond that growth though, Koru has a pristine balance sheet with over $38 million in cash reserves against just $3.8 million in total debt. Analysts have targets from $13 per share to as high as $16 each over the next year, so even the lowest analyst target is for a return of 67% from here. Our next stock to buy here, Iratamed, ticker IRMD, produces the world's only non-magnetic portable MRI systems. 
Iratamed has 17 patents and four pending to help solve the trend in MRI adverse events caused by magnetic interference and other safety problems. The company believes it's a $3.1 billion market across three core products, and sales have increased at a 29% annual pace over the two years to 2019, with 80% of revenue from the US and over 2.5 million patients. This is another one with a great balance sheet to help drive that growth. The company has over $48 million in balance sheet cash against just $2.8 million in debt, so almost 17% of the market value of this stock is in cash reserves. Just one analyst target here with an estimate of $26 per share, but Yahoo Finance shows an average target of $28 per share from several other analysts, so potentially a 27% return or more. Click on the video to the right to see how I test my stock trading ideas without risking my own money. How to use a stock simulator to test out your trades. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.